These are 100% AI generated UGC ads. Everything from market research to scripting and video generation was done by an AI agent fully autonomously. So let me show you how it works. First, you answer a few questions about your product. The strategy agent will then generate four foundational market research documents. I'll explain exactly why we chained it this way later. After that, it transfers you to another agent that generates the storyboard with scripts. And once you confirm, it transfers you to the final UGC ad creator agent that creates the prompts for the video and the videos themselves. It generates multiple videos, stitches them together, and even adds subtitles, so you get a final ready-to-use result like this. If your gentle moisturizer still burns or turns your skin red, your damaged barrier is reacting to hidden irritants. That's why I switched to Herbalux, an organic, fragrance-free aloe moisturizer. If your skin freaks out easily, tap to try Herbalux. Now, here is what makes this different from every other UGC system you've seen here on YouTube. First, it was trained on a real process of an e-com agency that already made over 2.5 million with Sora 2 ads. Second, this isn't just an automation that spits out a video and calls it a day. This obviously would not work for real clients. Real clients always want to adjust the results based on feedback. So this is why with this agent, unlike with an automation, you can refine the final result in any way you want. For example, you can generate multiple product images with Nano Banana and then tell the agent to use the best one. Or if you don't like a certain segment in the final result, you can simply ask the agent to replace it or remix it as needed. It also even organizes all your videos conveniently by folders, just like a real video editor would. So today, I'll show you how to launch this exact agent for free in around 60 seconds. We'll do a super quick setup. I'll walk you through how to plug it into your workflow. And then for builders, I'll break down how we actually train this agent at the end so you can customize it or fork it for your own niche. If you do want to resell this agent to your own clients, definitely make sure to stick until the end. Let's dive in. So this agent was built on our open source framework called Agency Swarm, and it's currently fully open source. So I'll leave all the links down below. To deploy this agent, you need to go to our platform called Agency AI, and then navigate to our marketplace. And don't worry, on our platform, you can deploy one agency completely for free. By the time I post this video, you'll see this new UGC ad factory agent. I'm gonna pick Sora 2 model, which produces very decent results. But if you are running your campaigns for a bigger brand, I recommend Sora 2 Pro. And for the image generation model, I recommend you try out the new Gemini 3 Pro image preview, which is the new Nano Banana model that has just come out, which is honestly insane. Then I'm also going to upload my logo. And finally, we need to add our API keys. So to get your OpenAI API key, go to platform.openai.com and then navigate to Dashboard API keys. To get your Gemini API key, go to Google AI Studio and then hit Get API key on the bottom left. Then simply paste those keys below and hit Save. In around a minute, your agency will be deployed. Okay, now that your agency is deployed, make sure to also enable persistent file storage. This will allow your agent to save and reuse files across different chats. Awesome. Now let's put this agency into a custom GPT, which is your own white labeled custom web application. Simply select this agency under the agencies tab and hit deploy. Perfect. Now let me show you how to actually use it. So let's say that I want to create an ad for a hot sauce for my AI agency as a fun project. The agent is first going to ask me a few questions, like, for example, the role of this product in my business, the target audience, the brand, and so on. Of course, if you want to generate real ads, you need to answer all these questions in detail because it's not enough to just write one line of prompt to build a real ad that you can actually use in production. This might work well for examples on YouTube, but if you don't provide enough context, this certainly would not work for a real brand. To answer these questions, I recommend using our transcription mode. So the heat level for the sauce is incredibly spicy, the spiciest sauce you've ever tried. The name spicy prompt actually sounds amazing. 
the role in the business would be sending this sauce as a gift to our clients after our engagements are complete. The target audience are marketing agency owners who are making 500K or more. The brand I want playful but sharp and any website. So I'll attach the website link down below. So yeah, guys, by the way, make sure you attach the website for your brand or product because this agent can also perform research on exactly what it is that your company doing on your avatar. So let's hit send and let's see what it comes up with. So first, this agent reads some of the foundational documents that we have provided to it, which are used exactly by that e-com agency I mentioned in the beginning. So I'll explain exactly how we trained it at the end. Then this agent performs web searches and analyzes my website and all of my company details to generate the ideal avatar and product description. It also analyzes all potential competitors online. And now it creates this comprehensive product document which contains all the details about my brand that other agents will need in the future to create real high-performing ads. Then it also reads the offer brief template from that e-com agency and the avatar sheet template and then proceeds to fill in them out accordingly as well. In total, it created four foundational documents that the future agents will use in order to create the ads. You can also see these documents organized by folders in your agent storage. So you can try to download them and read them if needed. This document, for example, contains all of the beliefs of customers who might want to buy this product based on market research. So let's tell this agent that these documents are good enough and that it can proceed to the next step. So you can see how strategy agent now transferred me to the brand agent, which now proceeds to generating the storyboard for our ads. So here's the final storyboard for the spicy prompt UGC ad with a length of 80 seconds. Each segment contains the scene description and the script. So make sure to carefully review the storyboard because this will greatly affect how your ad is gonna look like at the end. So again, this is the benefit of having an agent compared to an automation. You can actually iterate with this agent to get the perfect result for your brand. So let me tell this agent to make it even funnier and shorten it to only around 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, this one is actually funny. So let's tell it to proceed to the next step. GPT 5.1, by the way, is much funnier than GPT 5. So just now we were transferred to the final agent, which is called the UGC agent, which now listed our brand assets first, and then it proceeds to generating product images for reference. In total, it generated two variants just like this. But if you want, you can always ask it to generate more different variants. As you can see, this sauce also has our branding with the yellow and blue colors that I specified during the onboarding process. And the image even says AI infused. So let's use the variant number one. And now the agent uses the generate video tool, which generates the videos using Sora 2 for the prompt that the agent describes. And as you can see, this prompt is extremely comprehensive for the e-com agency that I mentioned earlier. It used to take hours of manual prompting just to get this right. But this agency does literally everything for you. It also generates three videos at the same time. With Sora 2, this should take around 50 seconds. With Sora 2 Pro, it might take a bit longer. But the cool part about our framework is that all videos are generated in parallel, so you're not waiting for three videos, you're only waiting for one. Most agencies send a polite thank you email. We send a bottle of hot sauce so aggressive it should come with HR training. When a project wraps, we ship this to clients with a warning label and a note that says, in case our ideas weren't spicy enough already, Okay, so all of these clips look pretty good, except for the second one. In the second one, it seems like the length maybe was not enough and the script was a bit cut off. So again, this is the benefit of having an AI agent. You won't ever get this right on the first attempt with the current video generation models. You actually have to iterate with the agent and provide it with feedback. So let me tell it to fix the second video and explain exactly what's wrong with it. Also, I'm gonna tell this agent to add my logo from the brand assets that I provided earlier. Okay, now let's take a look at the final results. So you can clearly see the logo now on the hot sauce bottle, which is amazing. <laughs> so this is so much better. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is perfect. Now let's just tell the agent to combine all these videos together and add subtitles. And so here is the final result. Most agencies send a polite thank you email. 
We send a bottle of hot sauce so aggressive it should come with HR training. We call it spicy prompt. One tiny drop on your taco feels exactly like opening Slack and seeing the words, quick question. Your brain just goes, oh no. When a project wraps, we ship this to clients with a warning label and a note that says, in case our ideas weren't spicy enough already, their whole team instantly remembers who melted them. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, there is one more issue at the end of third video, but this is so good. And this is honestly extremely easy to fix because this agent also contains all the necessary tools for video editing. So you can simply ask this agent to remove one second of the last video. Yeah, so <laughs> you get the idea. This is just incredibly powerful. So now let me actually discuss the limitations of the system, the next steps, what we're planning to add in the future, and also how we actually built this agent. So the first limitation of the system right now is the character consistency. Basically, OpenAI doesn't allow images with faces as a reference to Sora 2 model at this time, but I do hope that they're gonna add this very soon. You can, however, implement product consistency, just as you saw in that final hot sauce video that we generated. To be honest, I'm not sure if there are any other big limitations right now. I'm really curious to hear your guys' feedback to see how else we can improve it in the future. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments. The only other limitation that comes to mind right now is the token cost. The system is otherwise really robust, but the token cost with video generation can be a bit high, although of course they always justify the cost of recording and hiring creators live. So here's my cost on OpenAI for today, which comes to around $9 for that hot sauce video that we created. So most of this cost is of course on Sora 2 model. As you can see, it's around $8.20, which is more than 90% of the entire token spend. For those who don't know, the price per second for Sora 2 API is 10 cents. And for Sora 2 Pro, it's 30 cents, which does of course seem a bit high, but if you are actually using this for real clients, this is probably nothing. You can test so many more ads by using AI than by hiring real creators. Okay, now let me share with you how we trained this agent. So the best way to train a vertical AI agent like this is on a real business process. And I'm personally myself is not a marketer, so I don't know how to properly run Sora 2 ads. However, this guy actually does. So this guy runs a real e-com brand and he posted on YouTube completely for free how he made $2.5 million with Sora 2 ads. So in this video, he takes you through this entire five-step process, which takes probably around an hour to set up by yourself. He also shared a lot of foundational documents just like this, which he uses with Claude to do research before actually generating the prompts for Sora 2. And so what we essentially did is we just downloaded those documents and then we trained those agents to follow this process in the exact same way that he showed in that video. So you can see those foundational documents that he shared right here. And the strategy agent can access them through the special read foundational document tool at every step of the process. So here's the process I extracted from that video. And as you can see, I simply divided it into different agents or the actions that need to be performed by the user. And the way I extracted that process is honestly super simple. All I did is I basically copied the transcript for that video, and then I simply pasted it into ChatGPT just like this and told it to extract it as a mermaid graph. Then I simply copied this process and then inserted it into the Excalidraw. And I got the result that looks something like this. And after that, we simply trained this system based on this process. So we decided to do three agents and for the communication flows between the agents, we're using handoffs, meaning that the agents aren't collaborating with each other, but they are replacing themselves in conversation history because each step of this process requires tight feedback from the user. So in the future, we're gonna keep maintaining and improving this agent. We're gonna improve the subtitles tool so it can generate any kinds of subtitles just like in TikTok. And we will also allow this agent to add video overlays for B-rolls with voiceovers. So if you wanna build your own agent just like this for your own niche, make sure to watch this video next where I show you step-by-step -step from scratch how you can build and productize a vertical AI agent for any use case. And if you wanna try out, remix, or resell this agent, all the links will be in the description down below. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe.